Hey, how's it going guys? Jackson here with Toasty DIY, and today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to troubleshoot single, dual, triple, quadruple, it doesn't really matter how many monitors you have, but the long story short is that oftentimes you'll get home, go to get on your computer, and randomly have a monitor not working, or really more often than that, you'll go to set up a new computer, or a new workstation, even a console really, and you're not getting display out on your TV or monitor, and you're wondering why, well, we got a few basic troubleshooting tutorials that we can go ahead and get through today. So in this video, we're gonna be going over a couple of different hardware related issues and some software related issues, but I do wanna go ahead and point out that there can be some actual issues of items needing to be replaced or repaired in the system. So one would be you have a bad graphics card or a bad graphics driver on the motherboard. So you're gonna have two scenarios. One would be you have a motherboard or processor that has integrated graphics on it. Those are typically very low end graphics. A lot of times, most motherboards only have one to three display outs. Usually it's one to two though. And a lot of times you can have a processor or a motherboard that has a bad uh, graphics driver issue or something along those lines and it's actually hardware related so you actually have to replace the motherboard or the CPU. And if you're running a discrete graphics card, you can have issues where the graphics card completely breaks and it's just broken. You can also have the PCI lane that actually houses the card go bad. So long story short, there is some pretty major troubleshooting issues that can happen. We're gonna be going over the more basic ones today. If you think your card or your motherboard's fine, you're just not getting a monitor working, then of course, we're gonna be talking about those. So for the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna actually go to our Windows display settings. Now this will only work if you already have a monitor working. So obviously if you only have one monitor and it's not working, you're not gonna be able to get to this, but this is more of the scenario where like, let's say we have two of our three monitors, because we have three displays. We have one, two, three, all running on an extended desktop, so each display is its own display. And I can press identify and I'm getting a one, two, three, so I can actually see which monitor is which. Now, let's say that I could see that I had a one, two, three, but then one monitor is not on. That typically means that your computer itself knows that there's a monitor connected, right? So that means that the cable is making it from point A out of the computer to point B into the monitor, but the monitor for some reason is not working. So I'm gonna show you guys. We're gonna go ahead and just turn this monitor off. I'm gonna back the camera up a little bit. So check this out. We actually can see, I mean, look, two, three, but then one is suddenly not working. So this is just a really basic one. I mean, this is literally, let's say that the power cord got unplugged, whether it's unplugged from the monitor or it's unplugged from your power brick or wall outlet, you know, simply try to check both ends. Make sure that both ends are completely secured inside the outlets. Second step is going to be turning the monitor back on. Now turning the monitor back on doesn't always fix the issue. Hopefully this will work. Yeah, this worked just fine. Now, sometimes your computer is not always hot swappable like it should be with monitors out. So let's say that we have our three monitors plugged in, one of them gets unplugged, it gets turned off, whatever. Sometimes you can't just press the power button and turn the monitor back on. It might turn on, but then it's gonna say no signal, and that's because the computer actually needs to be restarted so it can reinitialize the actual monitors. And that's just one of those kind of weird, pretty common issues that I see a lot, honestly. Uh, we do have a PC selling business, uh, PCRose.tech, and we often see people where they're like, I'm not, you know, my monitor's not working. And so we have to tell them, make sure that you have everything plugged in, have the computer completely off, have the monitors off as well, turn the computer on. The computer should automatically wake up and sync to the monitors once it's turned on. You shouldn't have to turn the monitors on unless you're rocking a really old monitor or a TV. When I say really old, I mean this monitor needs to be over 10 years old more than likely. And TVs, a lot of times they have power buttons. They aren't really smart like monitors where they're designed to come on with the actual display. Because otherwise when you turn on like your Xbox or your PlayStation or whatever, it would automatically turn the TV on. Some people don't like that. So TVs typically aren't designed to turn on when they receive display. Monitors, however, are, whether they're hooked up to a console or a computer, they should auto turn on as soon as they receive signal. So we're gonna go over to our actual computer or our display out. So basically we have this computer here that's sending our signal out right now. And I do wanna point out that you're going to see this HDMI and VGA up here. You're gonna see this on almost any motherboard, whether it's old or new, they'll often have actual display outs on them. Now, does that mean they work? No, it does not. Because if you have a graphics card, that is basically voiding that signal. It just actually disables those ports. Um, and and more, more ever so, a lot of computers that you will build nowadays often don't have integrated graphics. Back in the day, most motherboards had integrated graphics built into the motherboard. And then they kind of started phasing that out and made it to where a lot of processors have the integrated graphics. And even then now, that's kind of getting phased out for the most part too. And most of the time, your only display out option is going to be a graphics card. 
So if that's the case, I've actually had people kind of argue with me on this one before. Um, your graphics card is your only display out. Now there is some exceptions with older computers and you know some specially designed systems where they can use both. You can actually have some stuff running off the integrated graphics and stuff running off the graphics card at the same time. But let's just say that most of the time, especially for this video, that's not the case. So we have all of our displays plugged in here and we want to make sure that that is the case because if they're in here we're going to get no display out and no signal and one thing to keep in mind with this is it's really easy to get loose connections well i actually just did another video on how to set up triple monitors and this monitor all the way over here was not working well coming over here i was actually able to notice a lot of computers do this by the way cases you notice how this hdmi is right against this metal lip right here it actually wasn't plugged all the way in it felt like it was it was very sturdy but i really had to push to get it past that little metal lip once I got it in there, I got display out instantly, no issues. So that's another thing to keep in mind is, and I know it sounds dumb and repetitive, but loose cables, whether it's a loose power cord or a loose VGA, HDMI, DVI, or display port, um, all of those are very possible culprits for your monitor not working. Now, another sort of common issue is not having your graphics drivers up to date. If they're very out of date, a lot of times it actually doesn't support more than one or two monitors. And so we actually already have our drivers installed. We happen to have a, I think it's a GTX 1660 Ti, but I'm gonna go ahead and confirm. It really doesn't matter. You just need to know what the brand is. So yeah, okay, it's an, actually an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060, which is a great card. And this card has four display outs on it, but let's say we only have one working. Um, one of the first things I always like to do is go ahead and load up your GeForce Experience software. This is something you can download for free and you pretty much have to do this. If you're going to play games, really if you're just going to have the computer, you really need your graphics drivers because um, it will often work without graphics drivers just fine, but it's going to have really weird issues where some monitors won't work, sometimes certain games won't work. There's a lot of just really strange things that can happen when your graphics drivers aren't all the way up to date. Now this software, you are gonna have to log into but once you are you can click drivers over right here and then you can set it to auto update so it'll automatically push updates for you as they come out honestly radeon and geforce both come out with graphics drivers usually like once a week for almost all of their cards so that's definitely something to keep your mind on uh, when having a gaming computer especially because that'll help all of your games run them the best as well and now I'm going to go to pretty much the last thing I can really think of here and that is basically a cable incompatibility so aside from, like I said, just straight up having, you know, a dead monitor or a dead graphics card, you know, once you've gotten past those things being fine, you can do that by using other computers, use a console, use whatever you have to test your monitor first before you go thinking you need to take apart your computer. So once we've gotten past all that and we've realized, okay, something's still wrong, that's going to be a, a cable issue possibly. So what I'm actually doing with these monitors, this is actually an HDMI cable right here. I'm running this HDMI cable over to this monitor right here that is actually being adapted to VGA. And um, some people, you know, know very well about adapters. Some people don't really know that's a thing um, with computers. So adapters are really common for people wanting to basically make things work. You know, you don't want to buy a whole new monitor, right? But um, this computer has no VGA on it. It only has this VGA here and that won't work, remember? So we're going to only be using this, these uh, connections out here. This is D uh, DVI, this is HDMI, DisplayPort, and HDMI. So we have no VGA out possible on this computer. So that's where we turn to Amazon, Best Buy, and some other places. For about 10 bucks, you can buy these adapters. And these adapter cables come in both full cables or just a small little dongle that you can uh, plug into, let's say VGA, and then you can adapt it to HDMI and have come out. So this is where I'm gonna talk about the compatibility issues. You can't run a digital signal uh, backwards essentially. So uh, basically HDMI to HDMI is digital. DisplayPort to DisplayPort is digital. Now once you start going older like DVI or if you go to VGA those are typically analog signals and so if this computer was older and let's say I had VGA out but I had a brand new monitor that's really nice it only has HDMI in let's say. So let's say I run that VGA uh, to my new monitor that has HDMI, that is typically not going to work because you're trying to go from a, I call it like a dirty analog signal to like a really clean HDMI digital signal. Um, and that typically can't be done. Now you can go the other way though, because we're basically just stepping down this nice digital signal down to analog. Very simple, very easy for the computer to do, no problem. So just keep that in mind when picking out your cables, make sure that's something you can actually do. They do sell active adapters where they can actually convert the signal for you. They're typically pretty expensive though like 
40 to $100, depending on what they are, and sometimes they still don't work. I've had many that actually don't work, so oftentimes I just find it's easier um, to either upgrade the computer itself or upgrade the monitor if you have that big of a compatibility issue. But as I stated before, um, those are pretty much like the main fixes uh, that we've often ran into in a computer company uh, with your monitor not displaying out. Now, of course, there can be issues with the computer itself, and that's really a whole nother video. But if you have any hardware issues, such as your RAM not working, your CPU's not seated properly, your RAM's not seated properly, the graphics card isn't seated all the way, you forgot to plug in um, you know, power, basically anything that could keep the computer from working perfectly, that will cause you to not have display out. Most of the time, if you don't have um, a perfectly working computer, you're not gonna get display out. This is kind of how they are. They rely on all the major seven components um, working together properly to get a clean signal out. If you don't have that, then you're not gonna get like a warning saying, hey, you're, you know, your, your computer's not working because it literally can't display out. That's why they often have beepers, like little speakers on the computers that'll beep a certain amount of error code so you can look those up because you literally can't look it up with the display. All right guys, so I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to check out our main YouTube channel and also our PCBros.tech selling business. Um, we really do hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully this helped you fix your actual monitor issue. Um, and like I said, there's there's definitely more issues out there that can cause this. I just went over like the major ones that we often see. When I say often, I mean like 98% of the time, everything that I went over is one of those problems. Um, but you know, there's sometimes really weird issues out there that are very rare that um, I'd love to see in the comment section down below if you ever had any of those really rare issues and what you did to fix them. So if you guys want to check out videos on how to set up triple or dual monitors, don't forget to also check out Toasty DIY because we got videos for you.